What is up guys? Go on here and we are going to continue our journey on Hero of the Kingdom. Now, I went through and I collected a bunch of shit and I went ahead and stocked up on some strength so we should be able to do stuff for a while. And like I said, I'm going to do stuff off screen, so all that collecting and stuff. I'm going to do it off camera and just do the collecting and stuff since it's not really story driven or anything important to it. So I might still do a little bit here and there if we need the money, because I think I've got a little bit of money, but not enough. So, but as you can see, I've stocked up on a lot of like night flowers and mushrooms and shit that I can sell to make some money. So anyway, so let's continue on. The road to the east is blocked due to fallen trees. Well, then let's clear it and continue on. Oh, hey, got some lumber. We can go finish one of these missions over here. Looky there. One fence there. Two fence. Darn, I broke my hammer as I was hammering those sticks in the ground. Of course, well, I got another one, so. There we go. It's still open right here, so I don't know what good this does, but. Uh, was it her I was supposed to talk to? Thank you for finishing the fence. Those lazy bunglers would never finish it. I earned nice money and got crispy bread. I'll see, and there we go. All right, now let's go into the woods. Hey, stranger, do you want a job? Yeah, sure, why not? A logger offered me a chance to earn some quick cash. I just have to help him saw the wood. Yeah, sure, no problem. That's easy. That was hard work. I even broke my old saw. I expected much more for such hard work, but he gave me an old handler, which may be valuable. Damn straight, it'll be valuable. All right. The logger is worried about his mate, who hasn't come back from the glade in the east. I'll try to find him. Ah. Uh. I found a wooden log wounded logger. He is on the ground, writhing in pain. I have to help him as soon as possible. Yeah, here's a potion. The logger is better now. I took him to his cottage. He told me what happened. I should have guessed. Bandits! The poor logger is lucky to have survived. The logger is happy to see that I have saved his mate. He gave me something for my heroic act. When I told him that the glade was attacked by bandits, he lost his good mood. It's clear that he is scared. He asked me to find his friend, a hunter who lives in the hunting camp just north of here. He may know much more about the whole situation. Hush, be quiet. Be careful or they'll see you. My hunter, the leader of the hunters is hiding behind the trees. He is observing something. As I looked that way, I froze completely. In the clearing nearby was a camp full of bandits. The leader of the hunters has been observing the bandit camp for some time. The bandits are guarding the pass to the dark forest. They even took some prisoners through here a few days ago. I am sure my father is one of them. I need to get through the pass to reach my father, but I can't fight so many men alone. Luckily, I am not the only one who is angry with these bandits. The leader of the hunters told me he wanted to get rid of the bandits. Unfortunately, the other hunters are not as brave as their leader. If I convince them to join us, we can defeat the bandits. Alright, what else we gotta do? The hunter just said, we have run out of bread, and meat without bread is terrible. We need nine bread. What else? When I asked the hunter to help fight the bandits, he said, So, we are supposed to fight with empty hands now? They are afraid that they may be hurt in the fight. I think they would be much braver if they had a healing potion. So, we need three healing potions, 20 arrows, and nine bread. So, I will be right back. Oh, there's a hunter down here. Arrows for hunters. I asked the hunter in the camp if he had some spare arrows. I really need them. He said that he had just enough for himself, but after a while, he decided to help me. I think he wants to pay his debt as I saved his life. He can't give it to me for free, but he will sell it for a reasonable, pr reasonable price. Well, there we go, we got the arrows. All right, back to camp. All right, after collecting the arrows, we now have everything. So there's the potions. It is amazing how much a healing potion can change someone's courage. I am sure they will need it in the fight. When I gave them the arrows, they shared them immediately. I gave bread to the hunters. They started to eat their meal. Hunters are ready to help me in my fight with those bandits. There's only one thing missing. 
the gold coins. Of course I have to pay them. I have to pay them to help them clear out the bandit camp so they can continue to hunt in the dark forest. Okay. I gave one person gold to each hunter. They have joined my group. Hunting camp is available now in case I need some rest. Oh, cool. What do I need? Meat. Of course. Hunters. Meat. Makes sense. Uh, help with the wood. The logger is weak due to wounds caused by bandits. He asked me to help him by gathering the wood from the nearby glade. I have to find all the scattered logs. Should be easy. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I brought the logger all the wood I could find in the glade. The logger thanked me for the help. He doesn't have enough money to pay me for the work, but he gave me a load of wood for free, and I could buy more wood for a better price. Alright. The leader of the hunters is surprised that I managed to convince the other hunters to join the fight. He also joined my group. He can't wait for the fight. Here we go. As soon as I am ready, I can attack. I like how I'm going in with a dagger. Alarm! The hunters are attacking! It was a long and hard fight. Unfortunately, one of the hunters was killed. We searched the whole camp after the fight, and we found weapons and supplies. I always wanted to own a sword. It's mine now. Alrighty. Easy enough. I finally entered the dark forest. I wonder what's inside. Probably more bandits. And it's a wolf. Get out of the way. Don't you growl at me. Get the hell out of my way. My old rusty dagger was destroyed. The blade broke during the fight with the wolf. I found another hunting camp in the dark forest. Strangely, the camp was empty, except for one lonely hunter. I tried to find out what's going on. The young hunter was quite scared. When he realized that we meant no harm, he calmed down and started to talk. He told me that the camp is empty because bandits captured the other hunters. He and the old Pathfinder were the only ones who avoided capture. The Pathfinder went to search the main bandit camp, and he hasn't come back yet. Who knows? He could be captured now. I see it's pretty dangerous out here, but I have to carry on. My father is in the hands of those villains. I found the wounded Pathfinder in the wood. He is terribly hurt. I think he has been bitten by a beast. He told me that he was bitten by a big bear after he found out where the prisons were being held. It is not too far from this point. He will show me the place if I help him. All right, I'll be right back. I will go get one potion. All right, I got the one potion. I gave him the healing potion and some bread. He is much better now. I am sure he would like to go back to the camp. He needs some rest to, be, to cure completely, but before we can do that, he must show me the place where they keep the prisoners. It is really important. Okay, well, bear. So this is the bear that attacked the poor bat. He is loud, holy shit. It's a huge beast. The arrow, arrows of hunters are useless here. What, oh, X marks the spot. The leader of the hunters told me to catch the bear in a pit, first of all. I have to dig a deep hole. Done. I have to put some sharp poles into the hole. Okay, well, let me go get a wood log real quick. Okay. Got it. Now what? The pit is ready. I don't know if it will work, but I'll try to attract the bear with some flesh. Why don't you say some meat? Yeah, keep growling at me. Keep growling at me. Great! The bear is in the trap. It is dead now, so I'll take his big paw with sharp claws as a trophy. Cool. Got him. Alright, let's do this one first. It was here. So this is the main bandit camp. It is well protected. This is a hard nut to crack. The old Pathfinder says that there's a wooden stockade where they keep the prisoners. Oh, looky there. He has a great plan. I could climb up the bluff with a rope, break open the stockade, and free the prisoners. The plan has one tiny flaw. We need to lure away the guards. I have to figure out how to do that. Why don't I just launch an attack? I have to return to the camp. Good luck, my friend. Oh. Oh. 
Okay, now we're gonna go down here. The main bandit camp has an excellent location. The only weak point is a small, undefended bluff. If I make a ladder, I can get closer. Okay, I will go get one more log. Be right back. Okay, I got the one log. I made a wooden ladder. I'll try to climb up carefully and take a look into the camp. All right. I have an idea on how to lure away the bandits in order to get the prisoners. My friends, the hunters, will simulate an attack on the camp. I hope this gives me enough time to free the prisoners. Hunters have taken their place around the camp. I hope this will work. Alarm! Hunters! On your positions! There we go. Close the door. Now, when the guards are gone, I can climb up the bluff and free the prisoners. Now I need a rope. Be right back again. Alright, I got the rope. I attached the rope on the bluff so the prisoners can use it on the way down. I have to make a hole in the fence so the prisoners can escape. Easy. Thank you, my friend. Hurry, let's run away! The prisoners fled to the hunting camp. Unfortunately, my father wasn't there. I believed he would be. Okay, boys, we can retreat now. Right, let's talk. One of the freed prisoners surely doesn't belong to the hunters. The hunters refer to him as Prince Edmund. I think I have the honor of speaking to a noble. He told me that his father is our king. Prince Edmund is currently serving in the army was captured by bandits during a military mission. I think it was really unreasonable to put himself in such danger. Perhaps he is an adventurer like I am. I asked him if he had seen my father in the bandit camp. Fortunately, he had not. He is sure, however, that they held other prisoners in a cave deeper in the camp. The only way to get to that cave is to attack the camp. I believe I can trust him. He is, after all, a prince and a soldier. Prince Edmund asked me to accompany him to the military camp, which is situated west of the crossroads, near the inn. I agreed. I hope I could find some help in the military camp to attack the bandits. The leader of the hunters thanked me for rescuing his friends. He also promised to help me with other hunters if I need it. Hunters had to recover and arm themselves. Okay, that's gonna take a minute. So I don't even think I can do it yet. So let's go, because now that I have the bear claw, let's go. Up to the hunter here, right? I need the money. One second. All right, there we go. Now I got the money. I brought him everything he wanted. It was quite a lot. I learned how to use a bow, creep quietly, and hunt deer. The hunter told me that he had found a lot of useful stuff on his trips that had been lost by other people. All I need to do is find lost crates and barrels. Well, there we go. Brent also told me about a hidden meadow full of animals to hunt. The easiest way to get there is from the fishing village. Cool. But I think I'm going to go ahead and call it here. I want to try not to have these too long because I know it's just a lot of me talking and reading and stuff. So thank you guys for joining me. When we come back, we will be going west and going into the town and the military camp, I would assume. So... Thank you guys for joining me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you all soon. Have a good one.